sophomore from Bullis takes the stick, looking for yet another epic chase Look down. At this might take 24 seconds here. Yeah, the most might. The finest moments of the 2029 penalty lane was this prelim when Long Quincy down. Wilson split 45 06 is just a freshman. Down. He has already moved his way up into fourth, but running away with it is Archbishop Carroll on the lead into the final 200 meters of this Two final open right class prelim. this race um today i just came out here gave everything i had i knew that last 100 was gonna be hard i've been studying these guys last year i was in the stands watching them so i'm really out here now and i'm competing with them so i'm so thankful to be in this moment your old kid you may have heard of him already because he's got the nation buzzing his name is quincy wilson that's right lee america you have a new superstar to watch so this young fellow from Bullis High School in the D.C. area is going to run against competitors like this guy who's twice his age at 32, <laughs> Vernon Norwood. See Wilson for a minute. If he gets in the top three and, and guarantees a spot to Paris, he will become the youngest American man ever to compete on the Team USA track and field team at an Olympic Games. Final events for Michael Norman. Exceptional execution. He is going for a break right here. The youngster in lane two is going to have a tough goal. Bowling, Matthew Bowling, but out wide, Quincy Hall, here he comes with Chris Bailey, they're starting to catch Michael Norman, it's Quincy Hall to the line, wins, Norman will be second and maybe Vernon Norwood. How proud are you? Really cool, how do you feel about that result? I'm a fool, it was great, you know, coming in from running in the nation's biggest final. Um, I couldn't be more ecstatic. You know, in the beginning of the season, I didn't even think I'd be able, I wasn't even thinking about making it to the biggest final in America. So I'm so thankful that I was able to be in this race today. You know, the fans pulled through and they were great today. They pumped me up a lot. But even though I looked and realized I was in late two, the fans made me forget about that. It's 400 meters at the end of the day. You just got to give it your best race. And so yeah. the fans made me wipe all that out of my head. Sixth place, now I'm waiting to see if I'm in the relay pool. So if I do, if I am able to make the team, USA knows that I'm gonna go out there and give everything that I got and some to be able to get on that train on it. 
keep thinking that I hope I make the team because you never know what can happen. They may take somebody from the 200, they may take somebody from, so you don't really know when it comes to USATF, but all I know is that I gave everything that I had and some, and so that's the main thing. I can't go back and be disappointed because at the end of the day, I'm 16, running grown man time, that's what I'm saying, I'm <laughs> grown man time, so yeah.